Okay, I'm hiking up to an abandoned gold mine right now, but uh, right off the trail here is the ruins to another mine. Uh, you can see there's a piece of a cement foundation right there, and over here underneath these fallen trees is an even bigger cement foundation. And there was a structure here at one time for a mine called the Black Crow Mine, and uh, it was an iron and titanium mine. And uh, there's no adits for the mine, there's just a, an open cut. So uh, this is really all that's left of that mine, but uh, the mine we're going to is going to be a lot more interesting than this, I promise you that. Okay, right now I'm hiking along this uh, Forest Service Road to the Lucky Strike Mine. And I should be getting real close to it. Hopefully it's just around this corner up here. Okay, so I made it to the Lucky Strike Mine, but as you'll see, it's been unfortunately gated by the Forest Service. You can see that it's stuck a culvert into the mine and there's some bars going across in there, blocking access. And up above that, is this really short adit that goes in maybe, I don't know, five to seven feet. And you can see they were just uh, clearing out a quartz vein. You can see it at the face of the adit right there and at the back of the adit. And it was dug into the same vein that this adit was dug into. So it's uh, really unfortunate that we can't go inside here, but at least I could check it out. Okay, here's a zoomed in shot looking into the Lucky Strike Mine. I'm still behind this uh, culvert. And back there, maybe 30 feet, you can see the rem remnants of an older gate that was once uh, in this mine. And uh, it should go back a little further, maybe about uh, 100 feet further than that. So it's Fortunate I can't get in here, but at least we get a look inside. Okay, so right next to the adit at the Lucky Strike Mine is this ore hopper. It's uh, shot up full of bullet holes, but uh, they would have stored ore in here, and then it would have went through that pipe. So that's pretty neat that this is still here. And right below this adit, there's um, another uh, pit. And according to some old mining maps I found, there was another adit that was dug underneath this one. I don't think it was as long as that one, but there's definitely an adit here at one time, but it collapsed long, long ago. Okay, right now we're making a side trip up to the top of Iron Mountain. Right there's the peak, and uh, it's gonna start getting real steep real soon. And it's named Iron Mountain because there's a bunch of uh, iron claims on here. I guess they uh, did some iron prospecting back in the day. And uh, if you look around on the ground, you can find pieces of iron basically everywhere. Like right here, I just picked this up. Maybe this isn't the best example, but all these rocks are uh, very iron rich. So uh, we're just gonna keep pushing up to the summit and we're gonna have our lunch there. So at least we have something to look forward to. Okay, I'm still making my way up the peak, but I, I found a better example of the iron ore that uh, they were mining or prospecting back in the day. But uh, I don't think you can take any of it because this whole mountain is uh, covered by mining claims, so you'd be breaking the law there. But uh, yeah, there's just iron, iron everywhere. Okay, we're on top of the Iron Mountain right now, and there's some uh, really great views up here. You can see it panning around here. Um, right there's a strawberry peak. I don't know if it's showing up well at all. That one's a fun one to climb, and going down here, that's a big Tahunga Canyon. And all the way over here is uh, Mount Gleason.
right there with those trees on top. So uh, I'm glad we made this uh, side track up here because it's really pretty and peaceful.